Hi, hope you're having a not so hot day like we are here in East Tennessee. Gotta love it here on Mountain Zone, folks. I could talk all day. And yes, trust me, probably not run out of things to say there. <laughs> There's that little word I want to discuss today. That would be trust. Have you ever asked yourself if you can trust yourself? We all hope we actually don't hear an answer back, though, because that's how the emotion thing works. They don't have opinions. There are no right or wrong. They have the answers just like our questions do. Someone, somewhere, somehow. If unsure, then well, I suggest you figure it out. Some things we are born with, and there are others we learn as we grow. That brings us to forming opinions. What I'm trying to paint on this canvas is you don't have to have a Mona Lisa to be an expensive piece. Person is their own work of art. Thinking up each and every little line and color till you're happy with that finished product. One of the worst issues we're dealing with today is uncertainty and confusion. Is it being original or wanting to be a replica? Way back when, when nobody wanted to be left out, and now it's no one wants to be thrown in. A little bit backwards, huh? That leaves only sadness, fear, and it leads to that little thing we call depression. No appetite, no sleep, and don't know what to do. I can't tell you that there's one cure that fixes it all. I don't have that for you, sorry. <laughs> Give up with it yet. <laughs> don't think it's there. What I do is have about 30 years dabbling in psychology, which can get fun and 17 in medical research experience. Mostly in neuro studies though, so don't hit me with those far out things. I never went to school to get my PhD. I was always too busy being full-time life of me. So just like most houses, I play a doctor mom. Greatest job ever. <laughs> but then they grew up and we got into deeper into fixing some issues of my own, as well as some other folks time to time. Isn't it about time you stop paying others to fix it for you? Why give up before giving it a chance, even an attempt? Have something wrong with you that you can't fix? There's no quick medicine for it. There's nothing going to work, right? Let me tell you something about me first. In 2001, I was dead due to lack of oxygen. My heart stopped three times, and one time it was a little over three minutes. It left me with what they said was 7% brain damage. Basically a dead spot in the left frontal lobe. No cure for that, right? By 2019, I had 100% activity in all regions of my brain. There'll always be that little gray spot in the MRIs that shows it was once there, but it's not there no more. Did a doctor fix it for me? Nope. I did. So learn to just swipe it away yourself. Shoo, poof be gone, whatever you want to call it. Anything that causes your days to be harder. Be the ringmaster of your own circus, of your own body. All I'm here to actually tell you is there are band-aids to fix little things that we currently don't have care for. No prescriptions needed. Times may not have caught up, so we got to push it just a little bit, shall we? So what I'm doing with this as I'm just giving you a life preserver from the side of the boat of existence. So as soon as I'm done creating and publishing this website, and it's up, come hold my hand and walk down the path of health, happiness, trust, and hopefully that leads to fulfillment in your own life. Like I had to do it for myself. That really good gift we were all given at birth. I will cut down some examples because maybe you also have learned a few tricks and you want to share with others, you'll be able to too. I also pre-tell you I do have books that will be coming out on the shelves that will be published by uh, Page Publications in Chicago. These help out a lot with memory loss for the ones that have the memory problem. Those things that they ain't learned to fix yet. These are written based on Dr. Seuss's memory recall system. If you look into it, that's what helps your kids learn to read. The same thing that teaches them reading also can help with memory loss and reduction. If that's not a problem, well, first person, so you also have emotions. Everyone does or should, and if they don't, you can still fool them. 
you feel those emotions through the main characters of the book, which actually takes you through, which also helps to bring back emotional feeling when you feel numb. So you don't actually have to pinch yourself to feel pain. You can actually feel it on there. That makes it for anyone and everyone written out in different age groups and during brain development. So the teenage ones go from where the brain is still developing, whereas the adult ones, the brain's fully developed and it helps the capacity with whatever is there. It picks up on that personal development and it drives it the rest of the way home. Anyone can make themselves super smart if they try. It is not a birth thing always. A little known fact, our brain actually doesn't stop growing until we're 25. So you never know how smart you can end up or even aggress. Live long and healthy. There will be brain recipes also for home use. I know that sounds funny, right? You don't actually cook brains. We have these little things called taste buds in our mouth. With the right seasoning, we can actually bring them up and it will release something in your brain that is called dopamine. Same thing that's released, that gets released in like pain medication. But there's no medication in this and there's no medication required. This is a natural way to do it for those who need it. This might be something you want to check out. Do remember this too often can burn down or actually burn out your taste buds. So don't get that. I don't want to stay like this all the time because just like medication, you can get used to it and it won't do you any good. Every now and then, it's going to help. So now let me ask you one last question. For those who need it or want to try it, are you with me on this? If so, hope to talk to you soon. Thanks for the time.